Greetings, ladies and gentlemen cars. Welcome to the second last upload for F123. This time we're talking about the racecraft part number two, dealing about, oh, as you can see from the title, dirty drivers and what's the mentality that we need to have dealing with this kind of people and also in general having a positive mindset when you go into a race, how you can recover from bad incidents, unlucky incidents and sometimes just things that are completely out of your control right so the best thing you can do is have a good mindset go for it right make your make your pace shown on the track and make good clean overtakes clean racecraft to get back uh, to where you can possibly recover a good position now we'll start off with qualifying here and uh, you'll see a lot more after this right so first off Coming into the end of sector one, this double right-hander, quite tricky. It is a preset-only race and I run a little bit wide here with that preset setup. Totally my fault though, right? I can't blame the setup. I should have expected that understeer and I should have slowed down a little bit. But yeah, that happened. We're going to be starting in P9. That is not a good place to start, especially in a big field here. And it's a rank race, so things can get very chaotic very quickly if you've played rank races or even just open lobbies in general in the F1 games. So, we're done with qualifying. Now we're going to go into the race uh, while we are loading into the race here. Um, you'll probably see a few, few things that I want to highlight uh, th which are coming in the race. So, there's going to be someone attempting, attempting to take us out by brake checking us and then... We accidentally hit someone and spun them out. And then, you know, after that, another incident, which is neither person's fault is just total 100% pure racing incident. Those things can happen and will happen. So let's go into the start of the race here. We are still on that 45, 45 wings on the preset one. We will change the front wing to 50 in the pit stop anyway. And uh, starting on the soft so I can get rid of it early and increase my front wing in the pit lane so I can go long on the medium tires. So let's see how the race start goes. And fire flats are out and away we go. We get a good start here, jumping a few cars, three positions, four positions, is that it? Uh, from drivers not starting good and it is ghosted on the first lap because it is a B safety rating lobby, I think. So automatically the lobbies are ghosted for the first lap. And we take advantage of that feature in the race and get past as many cars as we can on the first lap so it's always chaotic in the first two or three laps usually in any race whether it's a league race sprint race um you know open lobby even a career mode race you have to get yourself sorted right sometimes you have to make overtakes sometimes you have to defend from overtakes and get yourself into a nice position which you can work on from here on now i get myself up into p4 here and I think that's the highest position I will go for the opening lap here. And finally, we are with the lead pack and seem to be matching their pace, which is pretty good at the very least. You will notice because it's a preset lobby, preset setup lobby, uh, some drivers may be on a faster top speed preset. So they'll go, they're going to be quick on the straights, but in the corners, they might be a little bit of a boat here. So to each their own, right? I mean, anyway. And at the end of lap one, we find ourselves in P4, the top four. We are breaking away from the guys behind. So that's one good thing to note that, you know, the, the battle is going to be limited to four cars only. Still not ideal, right? Four-man train uh, is worse than three-man train, worse than two-man train, worse than you just running away. But we will do our best here. Lap one has been done. And everything uh, is looking normal so far right let's put it that way it's looking normal but into the next corner here you will see um well i kind of make the same mistake that i did in quali except this time i uh yeah didn't uh didn't slow down enough and ran into jonas who ran into the hamburglar which gave hamburglar three second penalty for cutting the corner and i don't know if the jonas guy got angry or what but you'll start to see some uh, very suspicious uh, driving behavior from him here right uh, going wide and all that's not suspicious i suppose but he runs wide here i try to retake the position and i think he's on the lower downforce preset or maybe you know less downforce basically 
and uh, he's fast on the straights on the acceleration probably with battery but he's moving all the way left and right he goes off track but you know i'm keeping my distance get a good cut back this time and up into p3 i'm like okay good this is good so far let's try to attack this p2 guy on the exit we couldn't go full throttle very very quickly because um, we were a little too close to his rear end in case he spun or anything i didn't want to run to the back of him and i did notice the guy behind was attacking me once again all fair move so far but he taps my side pod and then runs me off the track almost there and takes the position away in my eyes that's an illegal overtake but you know racing is racing sometimes a little bit of hard racing is acceptable and for me that was just on the limit nothing bad nothing good just acceptable so far right you know on my side that was definitely uh, a little bit of skill issue probably i didn't notice the guy behind and uh, with all that battle monty bn has joined the battle uh, p the p6 person also is joining the battle as well so we need to start getting a move on here right what i'm doing here is driving in different lines uh, to jonas here so that you know i can appear in his side mirrors this is quite a tactic that a lot of the drivers use in real life and also in sim racing uh, not necessarily to overtake the person immediately but just appear in their side mirror and maybe spook them off so this is exactly what i'm doing and it's slowing him down enough that he is going to lose drs on the driver head so mission accomplished half the work done and now i have drs on him he should not have DRS on the exit and it should be an easy pass. DRS open, battery open, he's blinking, but he does that and that again. So, oh, well, uh, yeah, things like that can happen. Uh, you know, the first contact could have been desync, which I will totally agree on that it was possible. But that second brake check that he did was totally unacceptable, right? Now that has happened and uh now we need to recover from that it's a difficult thing to do from here on out right because you have just been brake checked by someone you were having a good race you were about to win you know looking like good enough to follow the leaders at least or go for the win and now you have been taken out so suddenly your plan has changed i have to box here fix my front wing increase my front wing to 50 as i wanted to put on the medium tires which should go on till the end from here on uh, ideally i want to go on lap five or lap six but a lap earlier a lap or two earlier i guess doesn't matter anyway so we're going to come on in p17 here and once we're out of the pit lane i'll pause it at the exit of turn one before turn two and we'll see what are the updated gaps to everyone else and on the mini map as well you can see the leaders are still sort of with each other going to start sector three the triple right handers and we are all the way back here so we are pretty much two sectors behind them a uh, sector and a half now all we can do is do our best laps there's a car pitting that's one car out of the way right we have to take this lap by lap corner by corner and make sure we are doing our best lap times and if there's an opportunity to overtake someone we'll go for it but if there's no opportunity, if someone is quicker than us, we'll have to let them through and follow them through. Lap 6, end of lap 6, we catch up to two AI cars here. Thankfully, giving us DRS, which means uh, we're going to get past them easily, right? So since AI cars are usually running at a lower difficulty, it's quite easy to get past them by catching them on the corners. But on the straight, even the AI car is defending quite hard, right? And we get past another guy in the pits. And we get past these two AI cars. Three more positions made up to P13 already. So far, it is looking like a good recovery drive. So lap 6, lap 7, this is where you'll see the soft runners usually make a pit stop in 25% race in Qatar. We have one lap car, no, one AI car up ahead. And then two guys were fighting and Thomas runs super wide. Uh, rejoins just nicely though. But again, I was lapsing some concentration. So not a good day for me, definitely should not be racing when i'm sleepy I, I remember you know it was a long long day but i just wanted to get some racing done uh, but yeah uh, sometimes uh, bad things can happen at the wrong time but you'll just have to crack on with it so up to p11 now two guys ahead now they are starting to fight into this middle sector and the start of sector three 
which is good news for me, right? You can see the the tap. They go side by side. Ooh, and yeah, that that guy, no bones or no bones, I think. Yeah, no bones spun out, and uh, fortunately, very very lucky, we get into the DRS of Raptor Head. And you can see into the pit lane, so many cars are boxing already. So we get past one car in the pits. And we're about to pass Raptor as well. And we're about to pass the third car. So three cars in a matter of two or three corners. And there we go, up into P7. So pit stop phases are done. Now it's time to really evaluate our pace once again. Are we going to be fast enough to go till the end on these tyres? Let's fast forward a little bit and see, uh, you know, what happens by the end of this lap. So we're trying to follow, catch up to Han Vanillo here on the soft tires. So he's going to be quick on the on the start, but maybe his tires will fall off at the end. Uh, maybe our medias will become better. We don't know. But we do a good job here so far running wide there though. Uh, yeah, sometimes not the nicest of driving from me. <laughs> yeah, but we catch up to him by the end of sector 2 into sector 3 we nailed that right hander and then the left hander as well a little bit of battery on the exit and we are within drs good job so far now we get the drs he runs wide on the last corner and we get a good run here we're deploying all our battery one more car in the pit lane he's going to be going on to the soft tires i think so overcut by him now down the inside easy as you like it set the fastest lap and now he's still on our outsider so we have to leave him some space as you can see and uh you know just giving enough space but not too much right otherwise uh, i'll lose the position so well defended there and now let's uh, re-evaluate our position here so very quickly we are now probably going to pass the guy in p4 here he's looking a little bit slow maybe he've gone for a very early undercut or he's having some damage i will see monty again here uh, in the coming laps towards the end of the race. A little cheeky battle at the end as well. And uh, that happened. Yeah, that happened. That was, I'll put my hands up and say, totally my fault there. I should have backed out, you know, knowing he was going slow. He might have had damage or he was just going slow. Maybe tires were going off. Yeah, I should have slowed down. So sorry to Monty for spinning you out and uh, losing his some positions. But again, you know, Sometimes things happen to you, sometimes you do something to people, but you'll just have to crack on with it, accept the fact that things can happen, and you'll have to just learn from it. Lap 9, now, immediately after that little spin, a few corners ago, we get the DRS on Monty once again, and on the pit straight, looks like we are going to be able to follow him in DRS. He is flashing on the battery, so he's not going to have that much top speed. I dive it down the inside, take it very tight, but accelerate a little bit too much on the inside line, on the curb, and bonk the wall very hard. All that progress, all gone immediately. And now we are down to P9 once again. So we'll have to evaluate the situation right now. So let's see you know, what we can do from here on out. P9, a lot of cars ahead are on soft tyres, most likely the win is out of the question right now. The lead is so far ahead, 5 laps to go. So my mindset at that time was, alright, um, we've had enough incidents, let's bring it home. Let's try to go for overtakes, but if it's too risky, just back off, right? We don't want to risk anymore, right? It's damage limitation race anyway. Uh, any extra points that I get, any extra positions I get is a bonus. So let's... Uh, start fast forwarding again and try to see if we can catch up to Matthias here in P8 and yeah a little bit of running wide trying to recover the tires as well cool them down a little bit and fortunately in the middle sector we are catching him most likely because of that increase the maximum downforce that we have and the extra front wing that we put on in the pits so we are within 9 tenths he is pulling on the straights here but into the corners, seems like, yeah, we just might have pulled back the gap. And we are within 8 tenths, 7 tenths. He has a poor second last corner. And now, this is where it matters. We are within DRS range and uh, about to make an overtake on him on the exit. He runs wide, I run wide as well. 
I guess that's equal equals out the question whether it's an illegal overtake or not that I'm going to do here. But yeah, I'll leave that to you and the, well, I guess Reddit to answer. I don't know. Down the inside, making sure I don't run too deep into the apex onto the curb. And I've completed the overtake and suddenly there's a chance of P5 once again. P5, P6, P7 are fighting up ahead. So I just have to find my time, find my position to make the overtake stick. And that's the plan, right? Again, um, you know, I've had it mapped out in my head at that time. This is what I'm going to do. That's what I'm not going to do. This time, <laughs> into the same corner after a few laps, Monty runs a little wider. I run a bit shallow as well, taking less speed. And I think he's just let me through here. So GG's to him for giving the position, I suppose. And uh, we crack on, continue to the next driver hit, which is Raptor and uh, Christian Prime. Yeah, Christian Prime or whatever the name is, right? So staying within one second here, doing our best, carrying as much speed as we could. Seven tenths, six tenths now. And now, again, uh, you know, looking back at, at this, I'm actually laughing at this race. Uh, how bad I was uh, but at the same time you know the luck also wasn't on my side on that day you're gonna see a good example of you know having the worst possible luck here now we're gonna be following through these two drivers ahead I think they are fighting for position they're slowing each other down that helps me to catch them up in the corners and now let's just ride on board and see what's about to happen for a few corners here Okay, and he runs wide here and uh, almost, almost a similar incident between me and Monty early on. So this time, lifting off, making sure I don't run too deep into the corner on the exit and not hit him off. And just about, probably just by a hair width, he survived there. Now here, triple right hander, you, you're going to see something that you don't normally expect. Right on the third right hander here, he takes... A little bit too much of that inside curve and he's already sideways and I've paused it here. You know what's gonna happen. Three, two, one, boom. Oof. Yeah. What is luck, right? What is luck? Who is luck? Is it a food? Is it yummy? I don't know. And to top it off, the game resets me onto the track after the pit lane as well, which means I can't change my wing and Disaster, right? With two laps to go, might as well stay out with the damage that I have here. And uh, Monty's trying to overtake. I tried to squeeze him, but at the end, I was like, nah, he's too fast. Let him go. And from here on out, I have damage. Monty might be slow and running out of battery. And uh, I think he has, I don't know if he has damage. I can't see it from here or his tires are too old. So it's going to be a fun little battle between me and Monty till the end. I guess after all that bad luck, after all the skill issues I had and uh, you know some things that were totally out of my control, you know maybe we could just have a clean battle between me and Monty and you know once again kudos to Monty for being such a clean driver you know at this point after being taken out by the guy at the start, some other guy at the start you know I was just wondering if you know what if Monty suddenly becomes that guy as well you know break checks me or tries to take me out because I costed him a lot of positions but no Monty did so well here and you have to command people when you know they do well like this so GG's to him and uh, I think in terms of luck he definitely had a better luck and a better race as well than me I didn't really deserve this but let's uh, watch the final lap between me and Monty
and heading into the final few corners. The triple right, the final sector is a tough, tough corner. A sequence of corners to take, especially with wing damage. But now on the exit here, we get DRS. Uh, we go on the outside, he tries to squeeze us, but you know, we have that extra battery and top speed. And we make it through. B6, after a disastrous race, most of it was unavoidable. That can happen, that will happen at some time to our races. Either way, uh, you know, I hope uh, you guys learned something from this as well. And, uh, you know, this is something that I always preach um, to, you know, any drivers, whether it's in the leagues that I organize or even in my server with my followers. It's, you know, go, keep going, don't give up. And the more you get acclimatized to these situations, the more you're going to build that awareness as a driver. No doubt, having race pace, having quality pace is important. But having the awareness as a driver is going to make you a much better driver overall as well. Improve your race craft as a driver. Whether in this game or another game, real life or on, this, on The Sims. With that, thank you so much to you guys for watching. Thank you to my channel members and patrons as well for supporting the channel. Uh, love you guys so much. And I will see you all in the next video tomorrow for the final upload of F123. Till then. Take care everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you all in F124 as well. Bye-bye.